What's up, navigators? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video is for my mommy vloggers as we go over 10 YouTube mom niches that you can do to grow your channel without showing your kids in 2020. Thanks for helping us build this community. I really appreciate it. Today's shout out winner goes to this channel right here. I'll go ahead and leave their information in the description box below. And if you would like a shout out on our next video, make sure to take a picture of you watching this one and tag us over on Instagram in your stories, or you can leave a comment down below. All right, so I did a ton of research and I found 10 very sustainable niches that you can do in 2020 to help grow your channel along with some examples of women who have found such success in these niches and we're starting with niche number one which is cleaning and organizing so I feel like this is one of the biggest niches when it comes to starting a YouTube mommy channel which this makes a lot of sense because us as moms do a lot of cleaning in the home so making videos on this topic while we're cleaning and then uploading them to build your channel just seems like the easier thing to do now again I know there are a lot Lot of different cleaning channels out there but I really wanted to focus on the channels that only did cleaning videos and didn't have a variety of topics to make sure that it was a very sustainable niche and I found two very impressive channels the first one being simply Kaylee now Kaylee has over 75,000 subscribers with her oldest public video only being a year old she's also accumulated over 6 million views and guys the kicker is she does videos once a week now I know most people will tell you to find success like this you need to do videos more often but Kaylee will definitely be an example of how to maximize the ability to only do videos once a week and still find tremendous growth. Another channel is Clean My Space, which is ran by Melissa Maker. And Melissa has over a million subscribers with over 200 million channel views. The difference between the two channels is Kaylee will do more of a clean with me style video, while Melissa in Clean My Space does more of hacks. Now, both of these styles do have a demand. Some people prefer to watch others to clean and get that motivation to clean their house themselves, while others are looking for tips and hacks to clean better or more efficiently. So it's totally up to you which category you wanna go into, or you can always dabble in a little bit of both and maybe one day do a style that's clean with me and the other day do a hack style video, making videos twice a week. All right, the second mommy niche that does not show your children but find major success is the budgeting and frugal living niche now I think one of the most well-known mommies in this niche is do it on a dime which is ran by Catherine right, Catherine's channel has over a million subscribers with over 200 million channel views and although she has a variety of different videos on her channel now she doesn't really focus any of the videos on her children and when she started her channel eight years ago she truly built her success on frugal living tips now another mama known for budgeting is the budget mom I absolutely love love her and her systems and how she breaks things down when it comes to budgeting paycheck to paycheck. And she has a channel with over 137,000 subscribers showing people exactly how she budgets her money using her planner and her envelope system. Again, these two ladies take a very different approach to their content while one is showing you how she shops and does things at homes to save money, while the other one is literally taking you through her finances to show you what budgeting looks like. All right, so this next niche, I'm actually surprised I could not find a ton of videos on this, and that is beauty style and skincare for mom. There are a lot of lifestyle channels that will dig into like their skincare routines or try on hauls but very few channels will actually only do that content. However, Lux Mommy, who's ran by Amanda, does an amazing job of this. She does have over 115,000 subscribers with 13 million channel views, and on average, her videos get upwards of 15,000 views each, with her more successful videos getting around 300,000 views. Her video success and her channel success has definitely shown me that there is a demand for this style of mommy content, and if you are into fashion doing try-on hauls, and things like that, this may be something you wanna look more into. All right, so next is something I feel like I've been slowly transitioning to myself since the beginning of the year, and that is the health and wellness niche or health and fitness niche. Now, I know there are a ton of health and wellness channels, but again, there are very few that focus solely on mom. And if you are a mom, you know we can't use the same tricks that that 20-year-old who's never had kids can use. So it's really nice to find another mommy who can tell you what she is doing and give you tips along the way to guide you through your journey. A channel to look for if you're looking to get into this is Teeny Body Mom, ran by Brianna Christine. Now, she does show her children in a few of her videos, but her channel mainly focuses on workout tips from home. The good thing about this is these are one of those channels that will definitely take off if 
you are starting it out right now because again, most of us are still stuck at home. Our gyms are closed. So we are all working out at home. Of course, if workouts aren't your thing and you don't wanna make videos on that, you can always show the more food based such as what you eat, especially if you're on a special diet like keto or Weight Watchers. People are always looking up what foods to buy that fit under those categories along with what type of meals to make. Okay, so this next niche, I feel like a lot of us are already in and this is where we're really trying to figure out how do I transition away from showing my children and that is the homemaking niche. Examples of these channels would be Brianna K, Love Meg, Alexandra Buter, and Simply Allie. Now this niche is known for a variety of different content that center around life as a mom and how they run their household. The biggest things are routines, so like productive mommy routines, morning routines, night routines, makeup routine, just all the routines. And if you go onto these channels, you will see that these channels do show their families, but there is a way to still do this content and not show your family as much. You can definitely make sure you are focusing these routines more on you. So for example, if you're doing a skincare routine or a mommy makeup routine, your kids aren't going to be in the videos at all. But if you're doing more of a morning routine, you can either show what you do before the kids wake up, or if you do happen to mention that you do get your kids up or you're taking your kids to school, instead of showing their faces, you can get creative with camera angles to make sure that their faces aren't shown. Also, I know a lot of people feel like their success of the channel is tied to their children. And I'm here to tell you, I did a poll on Instagram and a lot of moms that answered said they don't watch channels for the kids. And I totally get that. As a mom myself, I go onto YouTube to take a break from my children. And I tend to watch videos that don't show their kids as much because again, I'm trying to take a break from mine. I don't need other kids screaming in the background. Okay, so the next mommy channel that doesn't really show their kids, but it's definitely highly recommended in the motherhood community is parenting tips and how to. I think the best person as an example for this is Emily Norris. She has built a lot of her success on her channel with over 500,000 subscribers based off of parenting tips. So like how to pack for your kids if you're taking them on a plane or potty training tips. And I find that her most successful on this category is her positive parenting tips. So how to be a more positive mom or how to discipline without yelling, which a lot of people are looking for, especially right now when we're all locked inside with our children and they're driving us a little crazier than normal. If this is something you like to do and you take a more positive parenting approach or you have a specific or unique approach to parenting in general that can really help out a lot of moms and dads out there, I highly recommend looking into more of these how-to and hacks, especially because how to and hacks in general do amazing on YouTube. All right, the next motherhood niche that I find is on the rise right now is the homeschool niche. I feel a lot of these channels that are starting right now because a lot of kids are distant learning, their channels are taking off. Again, another personal example is my friend Gabby from the Farrington Family Schoolhouse. She just started her video two weeks ago, has posted four videos and has over 120 subscribers already. This girl is going to kill it in this niche, but there are a ton of different things you can do. A lot of channels will show like their homeschool room setup or homeschool room tour. They'll show you books that they're reading, curriculums that they're doing. You also have channels like The Family Fudge who does a spin on homeschooling and she specifically focuses on bento box school ideas for kids. So it's still fun even though they're having school at home. Also have other channels like Monica Sutton who does more of an online learning base for kids with her circle time style videos. So again, there's a ton of different things that you can do under this homeschool category and you will be helping out so many parents right now because a majority of the world is on a distant learning program. All right, so this next niche is probably one of my favorites to watch and one of the reasons I became a motherhood vlogger, I thought I can go ahead and jump into this niche and I just found out I wasn't that funny, but that is the mom comedy channel. Now I am biased, but my favorites are Kat and Nat, Christina Kuzmich, and Juggling the Jenkins. And honestly, I don't know how these ladies don't have millions of subscribers, but don't let their subscriber count fool you because they have all shown major success outside of the YouTube platform as well. I believe all of them have a book, they have all gone on tours, and they are all worth over a million dollars each. So if you have ever wanted to be a comedian in the past and you like to rant about things like your kids staring at you awkwardly while you're just trying to pee, this may be the niche for you. Okay, but on a more serious note, we're gonna go into the birthing, pregnancy, and postpartum tips niche category. Now again, I find there are not a lot of channels that solely focus on this type of content, but one really good example is Bridget Tyler. But Bridget is a certified dual 
doula and Lamaze certified childbirth educator, so she does have a hand up when it comes to giving tips and advice on what to expect during birth, postpartum life, and pregnancy. But something I have found in 2020, just because you don't have those certifications does not mean you can't give tips from a non-medical standpoint of just a mom going through those motions and telling other moms what helped work for them to see if it works for their audience as well. That is exactly what I did when it came to my breastfeeding journey. I am not a lactation consultant and I made sure to let my audience know that, but I just let them know that, hey, I've been breastfeeding for four years and these are the things that have helped me and maybe they'll help you too. And I can say those breastfeeding tips videos are one of the reasons why my channel has over 20,000 subscribers today. All right, and this next niche is perfect for all of my Yelp review mamas. If you like saying your opinions on things, this may be the niche for you, and that is doing product reviews specifically for babies and mommy-related products. I know for one, I constantly look up reviews when it comes to buying stuff, especially for my little ones. I will not purchase something unless I get enough reviews that say the good and the bad. And a lot of brands love partnering specifically with channels that focus their content around this because they know their entire audience is built on the person's word. So if I say I like something and I, all I do are channel product reviews, my audience is more likely to purchase from me versus someone who does a variety of content and they just do an Amazon haul once a month. But let me know in the comments below if you are looking to shift your content, what niche you're thinking about going into. I would love to help you guys out some more. And for more simple strategies to grow on YouTube, you can go ahead and check out this video here. Also have it pinned in the pinned comments below. Now get out there, make some content and let's grow together. Alexandra, Alexandra Buter. Alexander. Examples of these channels would be Brianna K, Love Meg, Alexander Buter. Did I say it again? Alexander, Alexandra. It is not a hard name. Examples of these channels would be Brianna K, Love Meg, Alexandra Buter, and Simply Allie. I did it. I got their names. I hope so. If I said Alexander again, I'm gonna like die.